Hi Scorpio and welcome to your reading. This will be a reading for you for August 2022 with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot and um, yeah so let's see what we have for you. I feel before we start I feel for you Scorpio that you have been uh, turning a blind eye to a situation in your life where you've been sort of letting something go all the time. But um, yeah, let's have a look and see what we have. So quite a few signs have had this number. You do start with the number seven. And as I say, a few signs have had this number. Uh, the number seven is the number of mystery, of course. And it's also uh, about understanding and following your gut feeling. So I do feel that you are following uh, your sort of gut feeling about something or someone in your life uh, you also have the fourth house and we'll go through the cards in just a sec but you also have the fourth house and you have the lovers card here as well so I do feel this situation or this um, whatever it is you say that you're going through at the moment is something to do with someone in the home this could be your partner a family member but it's someone here that may be um, sort of maybe taking a bit of advantage of you in some way um, I feel this could also be uh, not only with uh, money because I do feel money here uh, that's slightly this money issue here where someone sort of give it <coughs> where you sort of keep giving or helping someone out in some way anyway let's uh let's go on with the reading so scorpio what do we have so we're going to start your reading the reason uh, the reason i said uh, you turn in a blind eye about something is because you have the eight swords so it's it's not that you don't know something's going on but it's just that you're choosing maybe to ignore it in some way so let's have a look so the first card I pulled for you, Scorpio, is Jupiter. So Jupiter in Scorpio or with Scorpio is uh, it intensifies, expands, increases. You see things with sort of X-ray vision. So nothing really passes your eye, Scorpio. So nothing really goes by, by you without you noticing it. So I do feel that you you're feeling that something isn't quite right here in some respects. With, with your situation you with that card you also have the seven of wands we look at it uh, the depiction in this card is sort of kneeling in a prayer position like praying so i do feel that you're praying that someone is um maybe not doing something i hope they're not doing what i think they're doing that's the sort of uh, feeling i get maybe with the help you're giving or something something to that respect and uh yeah let's move on so then we have as i said you have the fourth house this is all to do with your family and your home and with that you have the ten of wands so i really feel here for you scorpio that something is building up with that uh ten with that ten of wands there and uh, I think you're about to sort of uh, I do feel that you're about to sort of stop giving so freely to some somebody in your life yeah because this is all about sort of um, not the card but I do feel this feeling of uh, someone taking or doing something for you always whenever they do something for you they expect something back in return you know so it's like they do something but they always expect something back from you but i do feel that that is coming to an end for you scorpio you do have this aquarius energy here so maybe some of you uh, are dealing with an aquarius or but this energy it says on the card the energy is freedom loving rebellious idealistic and technological nothing to do slightly to do with this reading but i get this freedom 
this freedom bit and this slight rebellious energy here with this card. So I feel that you're about to sort of stand up for yourself in a situation here. So you're about to sort of stick up for yourself here in some way. And uh, that's clarified by the King of Wands. And he's got quite a stern face here, this King of Wands. So he's had enough, you know, enough is enough. And he's about to sort of take action on something here. He's about to step up and or step in and uh, put a, some sort of end to something. So that's the energy I pick up with this uh, King of Wands here being here. So the energy you could be dealing with is this. We have this Turkey Spirit here. So that's the card, the Turkey Spirit. And it says, give with gratitude and gay. Uh, grace even <laughs> so are you giving to receive but i feel this is the person you're dealing with um of course we can uh also relate to that card in the way of um sort of always expecting something in return you know so someone always expects something it doesn't matter what they do for you a little they do for you they always expect something in return here and that is clarified by the queen of wands so you've got your sword up here in this so you're about to uh speak up as i say sort of start speaking up for yourself here and sort of uh maybe clear the air about a few things so um yeah interesting energy so the person, and I do feel with that intuition there being in that number seven, I do feel that you are sort of using that intuition, your gut feeding and following your gut about something. Um, and it's all to do with this uh, person. Now, as I said, this could be a family member or your partner, but I do feel this person is uh, younger than you. Uh, in some respects, we've got this page of pentacles here. So if you can see... It's another card of giving. So we're giving here. So this person has to learn to give, not just receive. You, you know what I'm saying. So it's about giving and give and take. That's what I say. Usually the six of coins, would you feel that energy. But I feel that energy here with this page of coins where there's got to be some give and take here somewhere for you in your situation somewhere, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. And then we have, I um, forgot to show you that there's your solar plexus uh, card. So that's with that uh, page of coins. And there at the bottom of the deck, we have, we have the lovers there. So again, there's this giving and receiving. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so this person is uh, maybe taking, sort of taking, 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 and um, maybe they, they need to show you some sort of appreciation here, you know, or some sort of thanks. So that I feel that it's being a bit, uh, you're being a bit taken for granted here in some way, because you do have this um, Ten of Gabriel, which would be the Ten of Wands in the Tarot. And it says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours or trying too hard to please others. And I feel you do that, especially if it involves family. You know, so we can tend to sort of do that sometimes, Scorpio. You know, we all do it. And then with that, you have that Ace of Wands. So there's a need here too, I feel, with this card. There's a need to heal. There's a need to heal something or fix something here within a family unit. So you're sort of giving and giving. As I said, it's not just a, a, money, a money thing. This could be you, your time, your energy. You know, someone could be uh, sort of draining you as well of that. So someone's a bit of hard work here. You know, they're, they're, they're quite hard work. Um, of course, the lovers is also a card of choice. So it's about choosing what's uh, what what suits you now. You know, it's like looking out for yourself now because at the bottom of this card we have this lovely nine of pentacles. So a lot of pentacles here. So this is uh, for some of you. This this could be really to do with like your your money and your finances and your you know what you have. 
it's like uh, this person knows what you have and they sort of take advantage of it in some way yeah some interesting messages there for you um scorpio so that's uh yeah so that's your advice there is to um i think just uh start speaking up and you know put an end to something that's sort of uh, taking your resources away in some some area there okay so i'm going to end now with the reading i'm going to end with a crystal oracle card for you and see what all oh, see what messages we have We have one last message here from the crystals. So let's see what we have for you. All right, let's cut the cards. Okay, you have this. Uh, I can't. I can't pronounce that crystal. Anyway. It's going to be around the wrong way, but it's a C H A R O I T E. Chira, 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 chira uh, crystal. I'm not very. Uh, I, I know some of the crystals, but not not all of them. Spiritual protection. Anyway, it says here for you, Scorpio, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. Yes. So, I feel that fits in very well. With that Ten of Wands there and the Ace of Wands for you in this reading. So it's, it's a beginning to start fixing something or fixing this situation here. I'll just read that again for you. Sorry about that. I couldn't pronounce the crystal. Um, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally and energetically. So that's lovely. Lots of purple as well there in that card, Scorpio, for you. They're trying too hard to please others. That's what sticks out for me here for you, Scorpio, in that Ten of Gabriel card. So, yeah, so you need to sort of, um, as I say, set some boundaries. Um enough is enough and you know put your foot down a bit that's what i want to say scorpio for you anyway good luck uh in whatever you're dealing with at the moment i really feel for you and uh thank you for watching and listening to me i really do appreciate it uh as i say if you like you know if it resonates with you please give us a thumbs up or even subscribe to the uh, channel it all really helps helps to grow the channel and uh, I'll say goodbye for now and um, take care of yourself and God bless you. And I'll see you very soon for your September reading. Okay, Scorpio. Thank you for watching. Bye.